Well, here we are. This is the end of the road for the Peckish Whale project. Um, I sent a video a while ago that I'm actually, look at my accounts, I chose this bank so I think this is the best bank in the game to uh, transfer all my items over because I can bank on both the accounts. I was just like, oh, I, I'm going to do that and actually look clever, you know. Um, but I'm actually breaking the rules of Peckish Whale. Um, again, the rules of the account is to earn everything myself, can't trade anything to the account, can't really trade, blah, blah, blah. Now, obviously, yes, I am trading in a second because I'm about to transfer everything over to my other account. Um, but I'm not putting anything onto the account. So if I ever want to continue with this account, I can do down the line. Anyways... Before we start the video, I'm just going to give you all a quick, I guess, scroll down at the bank just to where we actually have finally uh, stayed. I, I don't know. I can't I can't unimbue the ram when imbuing the rings. I don't know the price of the rings, actually. Let me just price check these quickly before we start. See if they're even worth transferring over. Yeah, I'm just going to leave those on the account. I don't care for a couple mil here and there, but things like that, I'll, I'll leave those. But this is basically the end of the bank. Uh, I'm going to be transferring absolutely everything that I can over that's actually worth something to an extent. Uh, after that, I may actually go and completely clean the bank on Peckish Whale. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave like all the untradeables and such in the bank because I don't really need any of them at all. Um, but yeah, quite a lot of hidden fortunes just chilling, which is nice to see. <laughs> I don't know how much this is all worth. It says 1.35 at the top. Uh, but again, when I sell it all over the Grand Exchange, which might take me a while to do, I'm in no rush to sell this. So I'm just going to be selling things bit by bit rather than putting them in for the minus 5%. Um, I don't know where I'll get to. Hopefully, I'll get to maybe a bit over 1.35. Again, that's enough money for me. I'm not trying to sound greedy or anything. But I wouldn't mind an extra 100 mil or so. So, we'll see how things go. But other than that, this is the end of the Peckish Whale account. I might try and dig up on my computer the remainder of the clips, the final episode. And maybe try and get that one up, which I believe is a Single Player RuneScape Volume 29. Just to see what we did achieve in the final moments of when I actually still played on this account. So, if you don't already know, I did make a video a while ago. Sort of... I guess I'll speak about it in the next clip, just so the video doesn't get too long. But other than that, that is the Peckish Whale Bank. And it is all about to get transferred over to the new account, Old Bodie. Which if I show you quickly, it's running away as we speak. Uh, he's already ready to run with all the loot. If I show you this account quickly, this account is level 3 combat currently. 40 agility, 10 hit points, 2 fire making and wood cutting. And the bank is completely, basically, borderline empty. So, let's make this a rich level 3. So, I only just uh, liquidated it now. I'm making the video, so I'm commentating over. It's done. Everything has been transferred onto a, a very, very rich level three, might I say. So, I want to quickly tell you a bit about the project of the account that I'm going to be making. Now, obviously, if this is painful to watch in the background, feel free to close the video for any of you Peckish Whale enthusiasts out there. Um, I want to talk a bit about Peckish Whale, first of all. I made the account, I think it was in March 2014. Uh, to do the Woman Army series, uh, a series where I think it was two or three live streamers had started something that was a self-sufficient quotation mark. I believe it was called Iron Man mode back then, but I can't really remember if it was called Iron Man. Um, but I made Peckish Whale before the Iron Man mode even existed in the game. Uh, it was a self-sufficient account before the official ones came. When it actually released, uh, I don't even know if I'd completed Woman Army at the time. I can't actually quite remember. But I decided I didn't really want to make an Iron Man because I put so much effort into Peckish Whale that I didn't really want to see it all get... Um, thrown away for a something that only had a little badge next to it. Uh, obviously, this video might feel, seem a bit like ironic now that I'm transferring everything off, but I saw Peckish Whale as an account where I could choose the rules of the game, whereas Iron Man mode, all I, I did was have exactly the same rules, but I had a little symbol that proved my legitimacy, uh, legitimacy, whatever the word would be. Now, I really don't care if people think I ever traded on Peckish Whale. All I'm going to say right now is I never actually did over the course of the... I'm just going to say two years that I played the account. So, yeah, if this had an official Iron Man symbol, it would be in exactly the same situation. No, that's a lie, because I did PK on the account, and I did PK a whip here and there. So there was a few whips and stuff PK'd. Uh, but that was the main reason I liked the account being, like, not really proper Iron Man. I could do whatever I wanted. I didn't have to follow the rules of Iron Man. I could have the rules of Iron Man, but I could still PK whenever I wanted to. But, yeah, I created the account back in March 2014. We finished the One Man Army series, I think it was around March 2015. And then I believe I stopped playing on Peckish Whale around March 2016 because I wanted to get Boaty, which was my main account, to a better situation because my main at the time was Peckish Whale, which was a self-sufficient account. And I really wanted an account I could trade on to be my main. And that's when I quit the account. Never really had the motivation to go back. I, I'd done almost everything I wanted to. At that point, I was just making goals and goals and goals to keep going. And I enjoyed doing that. That's fine. That's how I play RuneScape. I just keep giving myself new goals to do because that's what I like doing. Like The, the reason I play RuneScape is because of like the self the achievement, the sense of achievement when you achieve something. That's the main reason I did it. 
So yeah, that's the Peckish Rail account. Two year project all going over to this new project. So this project, um, you're not going to see this account for about another month or so. Uh, the reason for that I said in my last video is that I'm going to be probably AFKing at the Ogre Enclave. No, it's not. It's a King Lapis' training camp, sorry. AFKing there until my range level is around 96 or so, give or take. And that will be with a cannon. So it's going to take me a very, very long time to do that, which I've calculated, I think, when I get my max cape on Boaty, which will be around the midpoint of February, I should be done with the 96 range. At that point, I'll make a few videos to have fun. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a video of a guy dark bow rushing with 96 range and 10 hit points. So I've got to do it when I'm in the situations here. Because most of the time I see 10 hit point dark bows, they're all 60 range, and that account takes less than a day to create. So. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so after this video, there might be one tiny progress video, maybe. I think I'll have a video, yeah, tiny progress video, which will be me selling the bank. And then I'll have another one up of me doing the early start to the account. And then you're not going to see this account for a long time until I get 96 range done. Once I have 96 range done, we'll start questing it up to the Barrow's Gloves. Uh, we'll be AFKing Nightmare Zone to get our strength level up, along with getting hold of a, hopefully enough Nightmare Zone points to last me a while with Imbued Rings. So I do like PK and Max Bear. Max Bear, Max Gear, and obviously with the budget I've got, I can PK in almost anything I want to. So, looking forward to this one. As you all know, guys, Zerka builds are definitely close to my heart in this game. My favorite build, and this account will actually be 42 defense, not 45, but it's going to be a good account anyway. I'll see you all later. And there you have it. That is it. Everything's done. It is traded over. I guess I could trade it all back right now if I really, really wanted to, but I'm pretty... I'm pretty solidified, I think, on my mindset of ending that series and moving on to whatever this account is going to lead me to. Uh, I was going to transfer absolutely everything, but then I realized there's not really much point. I'm going to leave like maybe 50, 100 mil on the account. I've still got over a billion GP, all the money I need to do anything I want with really on this account. Um, so I guess the next step is I now have to sell it all. So it's going to take me a while. I don't really want to just dump everything in for 5% of price. Uh, so I'm going to leave some of the items in, particularly things like the Tassets, because obviously they're going to earn me quite a bit of GP if I leave them in for the correct price. So I'm going to go venture to Varok. I'm going to go sell all this off, which will probably take me a couple of days to do, um, depending how bored I get and if I decide to throw it in all for 5%. Uh, but we will see where we get to. So hopefully people aren't too upset on the removal of the Peckish Whale account. Uh, it was an awesome series, like I said. I really, really enjoyed it, and I guess... I'd like to see where this account will get us to and where the PK commentaries are going to be. So I will be transferring some stuff onto Boaty later, which will be to buy the mainly to buy the Rigor Prayer. Um, but I will be continuing on with the Mats Cape. I should be getting 99 agility on Boaty today, which gets out my second last slowest skill. The final one being Rune Crafting, which I will be doing Lava Runes on though, so it shouldn't be too bad. So, to the Grand Exchange.